right, so this is a quick and easy way to set up instant replay for just having one replay and then call it up whenever you want later down the road. This is not the way to set up to have multiple instant replays to choose from. It's just you set when you want the replay to happen, the last 30 seconds or so, and then you can call it up at a later time. Let's get into it. So in OBS, the first thing you want to do is you want to prep for instant replay. I just set something up here with some motion and a color background. We're going to go into settings. We are going to uh, head down to output and make sure that replay buffer is enabled. Just keep in mind doing this. If you go a higher number, you are going to be further away from the point where something cool happened. Like if something cool happens, you go, oh, okay, cool. Instant replay. You hit the replay button. If you have it more, the, the higher this number is, the further people have to watch on that instant replay to get it. You may want it so that you're only running the last 15 seconds, right? So when you bring up a replay, you're only watching 15 seconds of a replay instead of waiting for the cool stuff to happen. Other thing you want to do is you go into advanced and file name formatting on the recording. Just get rid of that for now. And overwrite file if exists. Now, this is for instant replay. This may mess around with your output here as well. Um, just keep in mind, every time you start a stream, pull your pull your recording out so you don't accidentally overwrite it. But having a quick and easy instant replay, uh, this is how we do it. So file name formatting, get rid of that completely. Now let's also set it so that the output, for ease, we're going to throw it on the desktop. Okay, so it saves it to the desktop. Apply. So we are pretty much ready to start the replay buffer. First thing we need to do, though, to get the replay up and running is we just need to run the replay buffer once and hit the save button. That's right here. Save that. And you see down on the bottom, replay buffer saved to replay.mkv. We're going to stop the replay buffer now. And we're going to add it. We're going to add the replay into the scene. So let's go add a media source. Replay. We're going to make it so it restarts the playback when the source becomes active because we want the replay to start from the start. Use hardware and decoding when available. And really important, close the file when inactive because what's going to happen is every time you save the replay buffer, it saves that file. It resaves that file, and it can't be open when you're trying to save it. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. So we got to do that. And we're going to choose replay from the desktop. Remember, that's where we saved it. Good to go. Now, we're going to pause that. We're going to take it. We're going to scale it down. We're going to put it right here. So that replay now is shown uh, right there. That's where the instant replay is shown. Let's just turn that off for now. So we're going to start the replay buffer, and it's going to save the last 15 seconds of whatever's on the screen. Just keep in mind that if you hit the replay button, and then you hit it again, within 15 seconds, it's only going to go from the last time you hit the replay button um up to 15 seconds so if you hit the replay button you hit it again in five seconds you're only gonna have five seconds worth of replay um but if you hit it like two minutes ago and you hit it again you're gonna get that 15 seconds that we set right uh right here in replay buffer okay so the replay buffer has been going there's been 15 seconds let's let's change this color source a little bit here we're gonna change that to green and we're gonna take this browser source and we're gonna move it around a bit there we go. Okay. We want to save that as a replay. Let's save. Okay, we're good. It's now saved as a replay. We're going to, let's just so things stand out a little bit different here. We're going to go like that. We're going to do a black background. Now, if we want to replay the replay, or we want the replay to activate, all we have to do is turn on this replay source. And there we go. We have an instant replay playing in the bottom corner of everything that I just did. And when it finishes, It'll disappear. You can see there's two seconds left. One second. Done. Replay is done. Problem is this is still on. Now let's do this all through a stream deck. Uh, through a stream deck. So we're gonna go here. We have my stream deck ready to go. Let's go replay buffer save. Bam. Easy. So you just hit that button when you want to save the replay buffer. Now, if we want to, um, if we want to play it, what we have to do is remember we had to turn this source on, and then when it's done playing, turn it off again. So we know it's 15 seconds. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do something called a multi-action. 
So go in here, drag a multi-action in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into OBS and we're going to go uh, source visibility. In the scene, replay, and we're going to make it show. Now we're going to go add to delay. It's 15 seconds of replay, right? So we're going to add 15 milliseconds. We're going to add that 15 millisecond delay. We're just, for simplicity, we're just going to copy paste this, but we're going to change it to hide. So it hides this replay source here. So now I have two buttons on my stream deck. I have save the replay and I have this button, which is play that last replay. So I'm going to move this to the side. Let's uh, change this color again to yellow, bright freaking yellow. And we're going to move this around three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there's our 15 seconds. We know we have 15 seconds of replay ready to go. I'm going to hit this Stream Deck button, the Save Replay button. Okay, you can see replay buffer saved down here. Now, I'm gonna select color. We'll just change this back to, we'll, we'll put this to this color, just there. Now I'm gonna hit that multi-action button on the stream deck. This one here, that first turns on the replay source, waits 15 seconds, then turns it off again. So it's ready to go. So let's hit that button. There we go. So the replay is playing. We're doing the color change. So everything is going through there with the replay. We should get 15 seconds of this, and then it turns itself off. And there we go. It turned itself off again. So there you have a super easy, simple instant replay. You can two-button it, or if you want, you could do this all as one action. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to put it in here. So what I did is I put in the buffer save in there. It takes a second or two for it to save. So I like to add in a two-second delay. So 2,000 milliseconds. So now this multi-action first saves the replay buffer, waits two seconds, turns on the replay, waits 15 seconds, and turns it off. Let's make this a little bit more interesting too. We're going to, on the show transition, we're going to do a Luma wipe. So we're going to do a transition in. What are we going to do? Preview transition. Uh, let's do fractal. There, that looks cool. And we're going to make it so that the show transition lasts one whole second. Okay. So we've added a transition here. When this is when this turns on, it animates. So let's go through. We'll make 15 more seconds of changes and content and yada, yada, yada. So, okay. We're changing colors here. That one that one and then we'll take the browser source and move it around the entire screen all the way around there we go and now let's hit the multi-action on the stream deck so it saved it you can see down in the bottom corner and now there there we go it's playing the whole thing and you saw it did kind of a dissolve effect too it's harder to see with the color in the background but there we go your instant replay is now fully automated.